The honors program at Fullerton College has amazing opportunities, whether you're a continuing student at Fullerton College interested in joining the honors program or you're a high school student thinking about where you want your college career to begin. Um, we have some great programs. So first, uh, our leadership on our campus to the left, Greg Schultz is the president of Fullerton College. Um, to the right, that's me, Jody Balma. I'm the coordinator of the honors program. And really everyone at Fullerton College is invested in helping students succeed. Um, and we want to help you uh, transfer to the school of your choice. We want to make sure that you're successful and happy at Fullerton College. Uh, and so you really do get a lot of personal attention that you might not get at a larger school. Um, we have smaller classes. The honors program has classes of 20 to 25 students. So you really get to know your faculty members, get to know your fellow students um, in a way that's really difficult. Uh, if you're in a large lecture, lecture hall, like um, the class that I teach, American Government, um, has 20 students. And that same class at UC Santa Barbara uh, has 800 students in a huge lecture hall. And the, the other real difference is that our faculty are really committed to teaching, primarily because the community college only has uh, lower division classes. We don't have grad students. We're not researching. We're not trying to publish. Uh, in order to stay competitive. And so we're really able to dedicate our time and energy on teaching. Uh, and that's our passion. And so you get really amazing faculty who lead study abroad trips, who are invested in, uh, you know, making sure that students succeed. Uh, we've got great, great experiences. Um, and really, you know, the community in community college is really essential. There are a lot of students on any college campus that don't take advantage of all the resources and opportunities. I hope that, that, that you won't be one of those. I hope that you'll get engaged and find your people and find your passion. Um, whether it's honors or speech and debate, um, we have amazing theater programs. Um, we've got great athletic. Uh, programs, um, student clubs. There's a lot of chances to get involved with sustainability or the uh, sociology club or the psychology club. Uh, we've got a leisure reading group that meets and reads for fun. Um, we've got a math colloquium. We've got associated students. Um, and Fullerton College has shared governance, which means that our students serve on the President's Advisory Committee, the Budget Committee, uh, academic Senate curriculum, uh, really making uh, their voice heard uh, in making decisions for not just what's going on now, but also the future of Fullerton College. There are opportunities to be a supplemental instructor or a tutor on campus and help other students learn. And our honor students are often leading the way on those kinds of opportunities to give back to campus and get involved on campus. We have jobs on campus. Um, you know, I really encourage students to look at, if you have to work, uh, work on campus and get get some experience uh, while also working around your schedule. One of the great things about the honors program is that you have a built-in community of scholars. There at any school are going to be a range of students who are dedicated and ambitious and you know, really there for uh, bettering their education. Um, the honors program sort of collects all of you and puts you <laughs> in into the same classes and on the same track. So there's a lot of really great lifelong friendships that are built in the honors program. We have um, a lot of fun in addition to uh, learning. So I encourage uh, students to really get to know one another. And um, there are some great chances to do that. We also have research conferences. Um, you are going to do research in your classes and academic uh, projects, um, hopefully some project-based learning where you're actually applying what you learn, and then you have the chance to share that information and share those findings with others at research conferences. So um, there's a great uh, opportunity to present your research at academic conferences, which is just one of those unique 
opportunities that uh, freshmen and sophomores at Fullerton College Honors Program have an opportunity to do that you might not have at a four-year university. Um, you know, if, if you're looking at UCLA, probably you're not going to be presenting your research until upper division classes or really even graduate school. Um, we have, uh, as part of the Honors Transfer Council of California, Fullerton College uh, participates in our own conference with all of the community college honors programs statewide. Um, so each spring, we go to a conference at UCI and, you know, students from Fullerton College meet with 350 students from all across the state in presenting their research. And it's a really great opportunity. It's a really great experience, but it's also a really nice addition to the resume to say that you've presented your academic research. We also have honor societies. We have two, Alpha Gamma Sigma and Phi Theta Kappa, uh, which are honor societies separate from the honors program, but you know, we have a lot of crossover and I always encourage students to get involved. There's a lot of fun, a lot of social activities, um, some research, and then there are also scholarships and awards associated with those two groups. Uh, each year, our Phi Theta Kappa students um, are, are selected to go to Sacramento and meet up with students from all over the state and be recognized. Um, another really great opportunity that I encourage students to take advantage of is our study abroad program on campus. It's open to any Fullerton College student. Uh, and one of the things I love about our study abroad program is that between Cypress College and Fullerton College, we usually take for a semester about 40 students with two faculty members teaching Fullerton College classes in English <laughs> without having to worry about transferring those units back because you're taking our classes with our faculty and fellow students. Um, winter and spring are a little bit shorter. Usually there's 20 students on one faculty member. Um, there are faculty-led study uh, trips that are even shorter during spring break or during winter, um, but just an incredible, incredible chance to go all around the world um, and really spend some extended time, you know, 90-day student visa when we're talking about spring or fall, um, shorter for the other sessions, but really getting the chance to explore uh, the, the area and really get a feel for what those countries and cities are all about. There's a chance to travel while you're there, and we encourage that. Um, and it really is life-changing for a lot of our students. So um, take a look at study abroad while you're at Fullerton College or wherever you go. Um, we have STEM programs. If you're a STEM major, science, technology, engineering, math, um, there are some really great opportunities to get in the field and actually tour facilities and find out what potential jobs are. Uh, and that's really exciting. Um, I always encourage students to get started early with internships. If you've got the opportunity to spend some time, uh, whether it's local, uh, exploring what your potential career might be, or uh, we've had students from Fullerton College's honors program um, at the White House doing internships uh, on Wall Street. And even we've had a couple of teams, we've been lucky enough to have a couple of teams accepted to NASA and uh, go to Houston, uh, Houston and fly the zero gravity plane uh, and actually test out experiments that have been accepted. So they're really exciting things. And a lot of times people think that community college students don't have the opportunity to do those things. They absolutely do. Um, the, the sky is the limit with the opportunity to get involved and, and really um, take advantage of those opportunities. We're geared to transfer. Um, absolutely. Transfer begins today is the motto of our transfer center. And uh, that should be a definite stop on your daily routine, or at least weekly. Um, they have amazing uh, workshops and transfer reps, and so we'll put you on the newsletter as an honor student so that you absolutely get the information you need. Um, our alumni are at UCLA, at Stanford, at all the UCs. Harvard doesn't love our students for transfer. They aren't really a transfer institution, but our students are, are there at grad school. I think we've got at least uh, three or four 
Uh, Bennett Cho is at Harvard Medical School, and Laurel is at Harvard Dental. We've got two students in the education grad program. We've had many, 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 many students go to Harvard for grad school. USC is always a popular destination, as is our neighbor down the street, Cal State Fullerton. Columbia University has a, a great transfer program out in New York. So um, our students transfer everywhere. Uh, it, you know, there's always a stigma involved with community college and our students are stuck. It's just a myth uh, that we really need to break open. Um, separate from the honors program, but I just want to mention it, there's the UC system has a transfer admission guarantee. Uh, these six schools participate. Uh, Berkeley and Davis and San Diego don't, but uh, these schools do. And there's the opportunity to uh, tag transfer admission guarantee that school. And if you meet the minimum requirements, you have a guarantee to transfer. So our transfer center has more information about that. I encourage you to find out. Um, we have for our honor certified, which means finishing the program, an incredible transfer rate. Um, statewide, UCLA's transfer numbers are, are, are pretty clear who uh, has a better chance of getting in. Uh, the last couple of years, it's been stark for high school seniors, 16% admissions rate. If you look at everybody from the community college, it's a slightly better, 29%. Uh, but honor certified students have a 72% acceptance rate. So you have a really great chance if you finish our program of being accepted. Um, our particular honors program at Fullerton College has an even higher rate than the state. 75% of our students got in. Um, Berkeley doesn't have a formal agreement with us, but as long as they're going to accept 83% of our students, I don't care if they never uh, write anything down. Just keep accepting our students. What does it mean to be honor certified? So if you're not a STEM major, we'll start there. You have to complete at least 15 units uh, with a C or better. Typically, a transfer student is looking at 60 units, so about a quarter of the units that you take should be honors. And a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.4 in honors and non-honors sections. If you're STEM, uh, we let you take fewer honors courses because you have so many courses to complete and uh, it's often hard with labs to get all of those other classes. So for six of the units of classes you're already taking, we just add some extra STEM activities, whether it's presenting at a conference or it's an uh, uh, internship or, you know, competing in a robotics contest or going to NASA, whatever it is that you're doing outside the classroom to make it honors, we're going to give you credit. Um, and then um, minimum GPA. The thing to remember is that it's the same diploma, whether you started a university or you started a community college and transfer, there's no asterisk that says that you transferred and you save a lot of money. Uh, USC, you're going to save 110 grand going two years here and then finishing up there. UC, you'll save 26,000 starting here. CSU, 14,000. That's a lot. And there are opportunities for scholarships that the students who go straight from high school don't have the opportunity to compete for. UC region scholarships, there are CSU scholarships. Private schools have a lot of financial aid. We have our own scholarships. Before you leave, we're going to give you the opportunity to uh, get some scholarships. So uh, the College Center, we're located upstairs in right by the dining hall upstairs. Uh, the Transfer Center is right there. You go through this door and upstairs and down that hall and you'll find our building. Um, so I do encourage you to go to the Transfer Center. It's a great opportunity. The last thing I want to talk about is that we have honors counselors who are dedicated to helping our honors students. And that's a huge advantage. You want to be checking in with the honors counselors, making sure that you're getting the major prep courses that you need to transfer for the major you're looking at, Arch articulation agreements for those schools of what classes are going to count, what they're going to accept and what they're not. Um, and so we have some really great honors counselors available for our honor students. So that's uh, our program. Um, that's what we have. And I encourage you to find out more at uh, honors.fullcall.edu. Get an application and turn it in. Look around and see the other information that's available. Answer any questions you might have. And we hope to see you on campus.